Hey guys, this is Ethan. Uh, today we're going to talk about installing a 240 volt outlet. We'll get into the Details. actual words uh, in your garage uh, to accommodate your car charger for your EV. So uh, I'm an apartment uh, renter. I'm not a homeowner, and I thought it'd be really helpful uh, for others who are also renters to know what goes into installing one of these because. You know, I'm taking delivery of my Model 3 this year, hopefully. I wanted to get all my ducks in a row now with the city of LEDWP and with uh, an electrician to make sure that my apartment complex could handle the wiring and the electricity and everything needed to install this charger so I wasn't SOL when I have my car and know where to charge it. So today we're here with Zach from Modern Electrical Services. Yes. Hi, Zach. Hi. How, How are, are you? you? Good. Good. Thank you very much. Good. So uh, Zach is uh, an electrician and he is going to take us around and show us what goes into this process and like maybe what the rough estimates and costs are. and. Uh, yeah, so uh, I uh, brought you out just because I need to know what to do and what's going to go into this, but I also thought it'd be fun to shoot a video. So um, okay. take it away. What, what's first? What happens? Okay, so first we're going to assess the electrical equipment here. Sure. Uh, check your main breaker, uh, see see how big your main breaker uh, is with the service feeder. Okay. And from there we got to just route how we're going to run the uh, conduit to, the, to your parking location, which okay. seems to be in the garage over here. Okay. So uh, first we'll uh, look at your unit number 12 over here. Right. Um, looks like you have a 60 amp main breaker, which is a normal size for a small uh, apartment. Okay. Um, we have a couple of options uh, for the NEMA 1450 outlet, which is just a standard uh, 50 amp outlet. It's like a washer dryer kind right, of thing? Right, type of a, okay. like a washer dryer type of an outlet. So we have, it's pretty much, uh, it's going to be a receptacle like this. Okay, okay. right. Got and it. end up mounted on the wall, and, right. and the charger comes with the vehicle already. The, right. It's called a mobile connector. Uh -huh. So once you get the car, right. once it's up and running, right. you just plug it in and start charging the vehicle. Okay. So that's that's one option. You also have a wall connector, which is a high-powered wall connector, uh, which most uh, buildings or even uh, single-family residents don't have that enough power mm -hmm. right off the bat. You know, which is a high-powered oh, okay, wall connector. It. Right. This requires a uh, 80 amps of uh, current, which okay. is about 100, like 100 amp circuit to it. Okay. Um, this uh, you get about 58 miles per hour of charge oh on wow. a, on the wall connector, mm -hmm. and on the NEMA plug, you get uh, you get 29 miles per hour of charge. Okay. Which is standard. Yeah, that feels right. Everybody uses that that's one these days. So. Got it. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm assuming you were, uh, you were gonna be installing a NEMA 1450 at this location. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's more practical. Right. Um, so what, so I was talking to my landlord and they were saying that I needed to install my own meter. I needed the city come out and install its own meter dedicated to just the car charging because they right. don't, you know, they, they don't want, want it off the house. Exactly right. So, so what would, what's the, how does that work? Well, we, we can, we have another option where we can actually uh, come off your own meter. Okay. Which is a faster process. Okay. Uh, now, the, uh, these, these panels, uh, looks like they just recently upgraded it. Okay. Um, the, these meters, they can all uh, handle at least about 125 amps minimum. Okay. And you're, you only add a 60 amp circuit. Right. So okay. what we can do is uh, upgrade the main breaker to mm -hmm. 100, 125 amps. Okay. From there, we can install a small sub panel mm -hmm. uh, for the vehicle okay. and put a 50 amp circuit breaker. Okay. From there, we would, we would probably uh, punch out on the side somewhere mm -hmm. or maybe go across uh, through this cabinet. Mm -hmm come out and you know from the bottom and we, we have to get across to the garage somehow mm -hmm. so we, we can uh, saw cut across the floor what does that mean oh uh, the concrete oh you'd like right. make a channel yeah we have, okay. to, we have to make a channel Got so it. saw cut it so we'll, we'll saw cut this is uh, approximately maybe 15 20 feet okay saw cut it come up the side of the garage and just punch through the stucco here on the on the back side uh -huh. uh, and then just uh, put the outlet right here on the wall got it because okay. uh, the, the, the Tesla's, their charger port is on the left right. rear That's taillight. Right. That's right. So usually we would like to keep the, out, uh, the receptacle somewhere in this vicinity. Got like it. This. Okay. And that's, that's pretty much it. Okay. Um, your, your main concerns at this point will probably mm -hmm. be getting approval for the saw cutting mm -hmm. from, the, from the building. Mm -hmm. um, just because it's a detached garage too. Right, right. And every complex is different. Every house is different. Some are attached, some are not. Right. Some are subterranean. Right. right. So... But the electrical part of it is about the same. We'll okay. usually come off the meters. Uh -huh. uh, we'll, we'll, we'll pull the city permits, uh -huh. uh, have it all inspected, okay. finalized everything. Okay, uh, so you guys do all that? Yeah, okay. we'll, we'll take care of all the paperwork, uh, load calculations. Right. Uh, sometimes they want single line diagrams for your uh, load and everything. Mm -hmm. um, your, your other option, if you want to get a time of use meter, right. 
with LADWP, you'll qualify for the rebate, right. about $250 rebate. Right. So and tell tell, what, uh, tell me what a timing use meter is. So the timing use meter will be a separate box, uh -huh. a small, uh, another just a meter, actual right. meter they'll bring in. Right. Uh, we'll have to get a meter spot, mm -hmm. uh, which could take uh, seven to ten business days. If a meter spot it, is like the city does that, right? right. Okay. Yeah, LAD, LADWP. They'll okay. come out and tell us, hey, okay, we'll put the meter here, or you can put it here. They'll okay. give us a little drawing, you know, so a meter spot right. by the yellow paper. Okay. And then uh, based on where uh, they tell us to put the meter, we'll put it over there. We'll have to run a, a pipe coming up. Um, probably on this, actually this one, you'll, let's see if you have a pull section here, one second. So, don't have any extra room on the side here, but we'll probably, this is just a disconnect, so it's not pull section. So they'll, they'll probably have us run run another conduit up there, and then they might they might t tap off of it and okay. feed a new line. Okay. And then from, from the meter, we'll go to the garage. Okay. And um, so almost the time of use is when you, you get a rebate or like you have a lower after 8 p.m. kilowatt hour. You, right. You have a t uh, 2.5 uh, cents per kilowatt lower right. after 8 p.m. Right. charging. When it's off peak. Yeah, when okay. it's off peak. But the installation cost up front cost is more oh. because it, it requires more work. It re requires the conduit run okay. um, and, and it's a longer process. So by the time, right. let's say, we start with the meter spot. Yeah. The installation could take one or two days, the right. whole installation part, but by the time we get it finalized and then by the time they send, send the crew out to put the meter, right. all in all, it could take up to two months. Wow, okay. So it is a longer process. So, got it. So, so say, <clears throat> so my options are, one, if I can convince my landlord to just tap into the, my current breaker right. and uh, the, my, whatever my electricity cost for my apartment would also be tied to the electricity right. cost for the car. If she says no to that, then I need to get a separate meter, either a normal one or a time of use one. Yes. But can, or can you can you install a, a separate meter that's not time of use? Um, no, like you can't. No, it, it, it's going to be specifically for EV time of use meters. So you'll have oh. two you'll have two accounts on your bill. You'll have one for the EV only. It'll be right. a separate charge. Right. And you'll have your regular uh, bill with your unit your number on there. So, but you can't you can't install a regular meter that's not time of use for that. Like no. it, you can't. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. You're going to have to come off uh, uh, either your own meter, mm -hmm. come off your main breaker, upgrade the breaker to 100 mm -hmm. or 125 amps based on load calculations. Mm -hmm. We'll install a sub panel, or you're going to have to actually have a, one of these little, right. ju ju just this part. Right. It'll be a little box with a, right. with a main breaker. Okay. And uh, they probably, may, they might let us put it here or right. okay. so somewhere in the, maybe okay. on, right on the outside of the wall. Okay. Based Got on it. their location. Got it. So there's only two options, either time you use through LADWP or uh -huh. you with your own service already there. Okay, got it. For example, if this was an um, older panel mm -hmm. and let's say you're at 100 amps already mm -hmm. and your load calculations on a unit is already maxed out mm -hmm. and we can't upgrade your breaker, for example, then that's when you have no choice to get a time you use meter. Got it. Um, but at this point, you, uh, you seem to be okay. so, in, in the specs. So here's the, here's the thing for me is like, I'm a renter, so I'm going to do all this work and I, you know, obviously I have to like, when I leave or go buy a house or whatever, right. this is all just here and for right. the next person, which is kind of, right. sucks for me, but that is what it is. So what is the average kind of like, I'm sure every house is different, but like what, right. what's the average like cost of, of installing all of the infrastructure? Um, I'm, not, I'm not holding you to this, I'm just curious. Right. On, on the average, it ranges anywhere from $500 to up to about $1,500 okay. on, on the average. Got it. Uh, with the time use meter, you want to add another maybe five, six hundred dollars for material costs okay. and a little bit of labor. Okay. Um, plus the permits and inspections, of course, are, are extra. Okay. Average is about two hundred to three hundred dollars for permits and inspection. Got it. Well, we do come back for inspection again, of course, mm -hmm. get all signed off. Mm -hmm. And then the, the the saw cutting and the concrete mm -hmm. patching that mm -hmm. that'll be uh, extra charge as well. That's extra. Yeah. Okay. So all in, it's somewhere between like with everything, everything, it's somewhere between one and two, maybe. Uh, I would say one and two. Okay. Probably okay. one and one and two to be safe. Okay. That's if we can come off your own meter. Okay. And then if you want to add a time of use, time of use another five six hundred dollars on top. Wow. So okay. it could it, it. I mean, there's jobs where you know they've been up to three grand, maybe okay. thirty five hundred. It depends. Okay. Some are hundred fifty feet. Some are two hundred yeah. feet long. How does mine compare? Like my situation. This is this here. is average. Okay. Yeah. The only, the only uh, part extra part is pretty much the saw cutting of the concrete. Got it. And patching it up and everything. And is that, is that like required? Like could you, you know how like when you route a, like a coaxial cable when you're right. doing your internet right. or whatever? Like we can't go overhead. You can't, okay. Yeah. Okay, got it. 
can't go overhead. It has to go underground. Okay. So, um, and then what are the rebates with the city? So they they can give you a rebate on the charger that you buy. That's separate from you guys. Um, well, the rebate is uh, only on the time use meter for t uh, I think it's two hundred fifty dollars off the cost of off the cost it. of the installation. Okay. But if you buy the wall connector, mm -hmm. that qualifies for five hundred dollar rebate. Okay, that's right. Yeah, but the city. The city. Okay. But when you do um, when you do the time of use meter, mm -hmm. you can actually get the wall connector and the time of use meter, mm -hmm. and you can actually. Uh, use the full potential of the wall connector now mm -hmm. because you're having a hundred amps of service mm -hmm. or de dedicated to that wall connector mm -hmm. anyway. So mm -hmm. the cost wise, um, it won't be out eventually. Kinda, yeah, exactly. So is that what you recommend? Like, would you recommend doing a time of use as opposed to trying to tap into my um, meter? It depends on on how much you drive, uh, how fast you care about charging the car. Uh -huh. But um, if you're just you know a regular daily driver, right. 50, 60 miles a day, yeah, I don't think you need a wall connector. You know, the time of use. The t uh, time of use okay. with a wall connector, okay. for example. Got it. Um, if you're on the go a lot, you're uh -huh. in and out of the house, you uh -huh. want quick charging. Right. And because it costs you quite a bit more money right. for the wall connector. When you say wall connector, what do you mean? I'm, I'm not. Um, the wall connector is, is uh, this right here, which is. This is the wall connector here. Like this thing, right? This whole charger. So, so th this is five hundred dollars plus. Tax. If you don't have the wall connector, how are you? How are you charging uh, the car? The, the car does come with its own charger. It's a. It's called a mo uh, mobile. Okay, like charger. the plug that would just go straight into right. the two hundred forty. Exactly. The NEMA thing. Right. Oh, okay, got it. Got so it, it it already comes with it. So that's why you don't really need to spend an extra. Um, okay. So it has an adapter either for like a normal AC outlet right. or it has an adapter for for that. Yes. Outlet. Kind of outlet. I get it. Exactly. Got it. I didn't know that. Uh, cool. So. So yeah, that's Am pretty much the basics. Yeah, um, that's that's pretty much it. Uh, okay. It's a pretty straightforward installation. Okay. Um, and so the process mm. is talk, can, t do a spot uh, if, check with if, the meter if, if you're doing time of use. If you time of use, you gotta get the okay. uh, go online to uh, ladwp right. ladwp dot com right. forward slash ev. Right. Uh, fill out the t um, ev uh, time of use uh, meter uh, application. Right. And then they'll come out for the meter spot, right? And then you get approval from the building mm -hmm. as well, and then we pull the permits mm -hmm. and uh, do the and job. Start doing the work, and then we get it uh, inspected, finalized, and the water and power will come out afterwards and install the meter. Got so it. it's a quite a bit of steps. And so like it takes it takes a while. Yeah. So like start to finish. Say I started the process on Monday. How long would it think it would take to be like to be able to plug a car in? Um, to be safe, I would say two months. Two months. So you kind of have to plan ahead before right. you get the car essentially so you right. can drive up and right. got it. Well, DWP is pretty backed up with a lot of work so it takes a long time. Why is time. that? Uh, they're just overwhelmed with with uh, their their uh, EV program and they well, that's just, good, I guess. possibly could be understaffed, who knows. Got it. Or maybe there's just more cars. More cars coming Tesla's and um, and there's a commercial building too so, so it's actually a different oh. uh, meter spot. Got but it. for residential it might take a little bit got sooner. It. Got it. So okay. since it's commercial building, it takes so a little what, longer. So what have you seen like with this kind of thing with a uh, an apartment like mine? Like, is this the best course of action? Like, should I like again? I'm I'm flushing two thousand yeah. dollars for the privilege right. of having this now, but when I move, right. that's money gone. Is yep, there a better like? Can um, I just like live on superchargers and like yes. grocery stores? Or you could you could if you have the free time, right? You know, to stick around a couple hours, right? right yeah. Right. So, but who wants to wait around? I right, know it's time. it's really tricky. And s since you're since you are a renter, maybe some some landlords might be willing to pitch in. Yeah, it depends how nice they are. Right, you know? it depends. <laughs> and in, in your case, since you are a renter, I right. wouldn't recommend spending the time you use meter or you no, because you're oh, you're not going to be here. On a, I mean, who knows how long right. you're going to be here? Right. But um, and it's not yours either. Right. You know, your your right. your uh, landlord will benefit from right. it more so than you. So you would you. recommend doing the tapping yeah. into this. T tapping in, you do the 50 amp line to the right. garage, call right. it a call it a day. Okay. Yeah, that, that'd be the best. And way. so then if I'm so say like I leave and the next person moves into my apartment complex, and they don't have an EV and they never use that outlet that happens there. It's just there. That's it's just lying there. There's no. There's no. no extra charging that's going to that. No. Okay. Yeah. If 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 you don't use it, then um, just no. it's not. It's just no. there. It's just dead. Okay. You know. Got it. There's cool. no there's no usage on it. Okay. Cool. So I think that's all I got. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, man. All right. And so again, uh, Modern Electrical Services. They're in Los Angeles. Thank you. Uh, they've been great so far. Uh, I'm, God willing, gonna 
Thank you. Install a charger. Let's do it. Cool. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe below. I will be coming out with more Tesla and EV related videos uh, in the weeks to come. Let me know in the comments what you'd want to see out of my next Model 3 video, what you want me to review, uh, what other features you're looking for, and we will see you next time. Thanks. Bye.